If you're somebody who's thinking about starting your very own part-time side hustle as a car cleaner, you might be asking yourself a couple of questions in your head, such as, do I need a water tank? Do I need a generator? Or do I even need a van? And I'm here to tell you, no, you don't need any of those things, especially at this stage. So let me show you the solution. Finding a van in today's current economic climate can be tricky. Ever since 2020, 99% of the UK decided to become Amazon delivery drivers, which meant all the costs of the vans shot up and the remaining decent vans were snapped up. So you either had to buy a van on its last legs or spend big to get anything that wasn't broken. So the best option for beginners will always be a car. And think about it this way. If you're somebody who's already got a driving license, all you're gonna need to do is get yourself four wheels and a boot and you should be able to start your very own car cleaning business right now. So as some of you know, at the beginning of the year, I took on a new project being my detailing studio, which meant I had to get rid of some more regular clients. And we already had three vehicles at the time, so one of them had to go. So I had to sell my beloved van, but after a couple of months of using my own car, it made me realize that I didn't need a van after all. And the reason that I say that is because I never used my own water supply, even though I carried a water tank. I never needed to use a generator because I always use their power as well. And I just thought I'm carrying all this other stuff that I don't need. I carried a steam cleaner for many, many years and I was only using it a handful of times. I then had an extra wet vac, which I didn't need to carry. And it just went on and on. And I thought, well, I'm carrying so many different cloths, so many extra products. I was carrying 25 litre drums in the van in case I was gonna run out. How on earth could you possibly run out of 25 liters in one day? It just did not make sense. So I got smart, I got rid of all the excess baggage and then I made sure that I could tailor everything down to such a level where I only needed to carry the bare minimum. And I'm now gonna show you what's inside my car because I think this is gonna really impress you. So this is it, everything you can possibly see in this car is what you need to start off your very own car washing business. I have the bare minimum here. We've got a couple of modular storage boxes. I've got my gloves in here. I've got a few buckets. I've got my pressure washer and my vacuum cleaner and a hose and a few other bits. So I'm highly proud of this complete setup. And the reason I say that is because I can take bends at a pretty much average speed and I'm never ever going to have anything fall over. It's designed in such a way that it fits like a perfect puzzle. Think of it a bit like that game Tetris, where everything falls into its own place. So when I look at everything that's in these boxes, like we have a handful of chemicals, we've got a handful of microfiber towels, we have enough to get us through the day, plus a couple of extras. We never carry anything else that we don't need to. So I'll give you another example. We have five liters of citrus pre-wash. That's the highest amount of any product that I'm going to be carrying. We don't carry any drums whatsoever. Literally what you see is what you get right here. But if you're not prepared to go through your car every single day at the end of the day and re-top up your products, then this may not be the right method for you. But I still want you to bear with me till the very end because I really am gonna be opening your eyes up to a lot more tips and tricks on how you can store all your products. And I'm also gonna show you everything that's inside these boxes right now because it does get really interesting and it will open your eyes, especially if you're a beginner. Right, so when I rock up to a client's house, the first thing I wanna do is start to get some bits out. Now at this stage, I don't really need to get everything out and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So all we need to do at this point is just get out the hose, the vacuum cleaner, the pump sprayer, and the buckets. As for the boxes themselves, they're actually gonna be staying in the car and I wanna show you why. So this is it, I've got my buckets, pressure washer, hose, vacuum cleaner, and citrus pre-wash. Now if we go back to the boot, you can see we have five boxes, six boxes actually, including the gloves. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the lids up and we're gonna display this in such a way that you can see everything that's inside. Watch this, you're gonna absolutely love it. It's an ultimate game changer for anybody who's got a car. By the way, I will put links in the description below where you can get all these boxes because I tell you what, these are recycled, they're heavy duty, and they're actually designed for putting in rubbish and newspapers. They're called recycling boxes from a company called Wham. You can get them in Halfords and on Amazon and places like that. But I've got loads of these and I keep buying them because I'm addicted because of the practicality of them. Right, so this is how it's gonna go down. We're gonna turn the back of this car into a mobile detailing setup. Trust me, it sounds ridiculous, but it isn't. Watch this. So I'm gonna take my boxes, gonna fold the lids back like so. This is incredible. Get ready for greatness. 
This is what you need. Come and have a look. So in here, we always have fresh, brand new cloths, microfiber towels, anything like that. It's always got to be clean and fresh. Once you've used them, I then put them in a carrier bag and we put them in the middle of the car. As for the back, I've got a car dryer, an extension lead. I've got a drill brush and another spare extension lead. In here, I just carry the bare essentials. So I've got all my car cleaning products that I use. And this is just enough to get me through the day. I don't really need to be carrying anything else. In here, we have all my brushes, my tools. Now it does look a bit messy, but trust me, you get through all these things all the time. There's no real way that you can organize this in such a way where it just becomes any less convenient. For me, I just love grabbing everything out of this box. It's there whenever I need it. As for this one in here, I keep this lid on at all times because this is the smelly stuff. We have the wheel cleaners, the fallout removers, and the tire and glue removers, and that's pretty disgusting. So actually, this one normally comes outside the car as well because you don't wanna leave it in here. You don't wanna leave it getting smelly as well because it stinks the car out. And if you've got kids, that is not a good thing. I've also got a box here where I keep all my gloves. That's another little handy box as well because it's so waterproof. Nothing gets in, it's nice and dry. So even if it does rain, at least everything in here is totally dry. Look, so I've seen those stunning vans and I've done several videos on them in the past why I think they're an amazing asset for any business because they look professional and you've got everything where you need it. But even when I had my own van and I had my own racking, everything was kitted out the way that I wanted it to make my life easier. One thing I did find was every single house that I went to, there was always going to be some sort of drama. And what I meant was we had a client who had five or six cars, yet he only had a driveway big enough for four cars. You still had to get everything out. You couldn't even park near it and do the job that you wanted to do because he didn't have enough space. And I was finding this more and more with every single rich client that I was working for. It was getting ridiculous. So that was the first thing that got me thinking, I just don't need to have a van anymore. And then when I started practicing with different boxes and ideas, how I could make it work for me, the next question you've got to ask yourself is, I know it's going to take you a little bit of time just packing everything up after each job. But even if you have a kitted out van, everything still has to go in its own place. Is it really going to take you that much longer to put six boxes back in the boot of the car, stack them up and then put a couple of bits in? I've worked out that I've come up with a complete system where I can do it in literally a minute. It's so quick and easy to do. Anybody could follow along to this and it's not going to take much of your life up at all. And this is another thing because the old me would have said, right, you've got to carry a cleaning caddy and you can walk around the car as you go along. Now that is all well and good, but I still have to go back to the van to get my drying towels. I need to go back to get the car dryer. I need to go back for all these other little chemicals that I still might need. There's just no point in me carrying this around when I still have to walk back and forth. And this is where it gets even better for the boxes. So let's just imagine for one second I'm cleaning this car. Now what I did was I used to take some of the boxes out on odd occasions when I needed to get close to the vehicle and I had everything right where I need it. It was almost like I had my own detailing space around me. I didn't really feel the need to have a van. This eliminated so many problems. So these heavy duty boxes come in all different shapes and sizes, and I did get quite addicted to it. I started trialing out different boxes, different sizes, how I could make it work for me. So here's the other thing that I do, because I already have pre-prepped boxes. So once I run out of microfiber towels, I can either top up with my existing ones or I can just grab another box which is fully loaded, which has already got 10 microfiber towels. I have about 30 cloths for the interior. I have dedicated cloths for the exterior as well. And they're already pre-made up. So when it comes to setting up for the next day, if you really wanna change everything over and you think, okay, sod it, we do all the washing of the towels at the weekend, I can then just grab another box and chuck it in the car. And it's the same with chemicals as well. I still cannot see any disadvantages with using these sorts of boxes. And I just think they're great. So in here, we carry the bare essentials. We've got a snow foam cannon. We've got five liters of citrus pre-wash. Everything else is just in 500 mils, whether it's shampoo, or we've got interior cleaner or ceramic detailer. And there's not really many other products that I like to use there. I just keep it to the bare minimum. And like I said before, I don't carry many towels. I literally just have enough to get me through the day. And I pretty much know every single car that I'm working on now because we have a good system. I know my clients, who they are, and I know I'm not gonna be taking on any other nasty jobs. So I know what to expect from each job. So I'm sure you're thinking, well, this sounds all well and good, but you're clearly missing a few more tools. Okay, you got me. There may be a scenario where you're going to need to be using one of these different tools, like the steam cleaner or the wet extractor. But for things like an air compressor, you can make do with a car dryer, and that's why I keep it in that box in the car there. And if you do get the odd occasion where you have to use that steamer maybe once or twice a week, 
just stick it in the back. Oh, and by the way, if you're looking at this wet extractor thinking how disgusting it is, yeah, you're not wrong. We basically use this one for the dog's diarrhea. So if you ever see me cleaning your car with this tool, it means I don't like you. Another thing you might ask yourself is where is my step? Well, I just use the lids on these buckets now. They double up as a step and I don't really see the need to carry an extra one in the car. So I really don't carry a lot of stuff. And when I'm carrying my tools in the car, I like to keep it nice and simple and use the lighter equipment. And my main pressure washer at the minute was the P70, but now I switched to the P57 because the P70 stays here, along with every single other other pressure washer. But this one's nice and light, which means that I can just chuck it in and out as and when, and it's quite durable as well, so I don't have any problems there. As for Charles, He's battered and bruised and he's on his last legs, but he's still working. As for my Tango pump sprayer, the lid's broken on that. As for my hose, that's nice and light. It's not really long. It's about 20 meters, 25 meters, I think. And I've got a few buckets over there. So now I want to put everything back in the car and just show you how easy it is to get everything all set up again. goes in there like that and there we have it job done so look this just goes to show you you don't need your own van you don't need a generator or a water tank at this stage not everybody's going to have a ford s max or a galaxy or a large car i totally understand that so maybe i should have a go at using this method on smaller cars but please don't forget that you can buy those boxes or any other storage box for that matter in any different shape and size so you have to get as creative as possible so look i know there's going to be some of you out there who says look i really cannot turn up to a client's house in a car it doesn't look professional or what if i turn up to a block of flats where i do need a generator and i do need a water tank well look there's just sometimes in life you win some you lose some Honestly, I thought exactly the same as you at one point. I thought I have to have all this stuff. And then it turned out most of these complexes where I did loads of blocks of flats already had a valeting area. They had their own power, they had their own water. They had everything I possibly needed. And the more I thought about it, I was just driving around with all this excess weight inside thinking I do not need it. And it was costing me a fortune to run the van. So please don't even be embarrassed. If you turn up to someone's house in a car, don't feel ashamed if you see another car detailer pull up next to you with a flashy van. Honestly, he's probably gone through exactly the same experience that you're going through right now. Don't forget last year I made a video with my mate Dave who showed me what life was like on the road as a car valeter using just a small voxel Corsa. So if you want to know more about starting your business on a budget, then I have plenty of videos to help you in my dedicated playlist. Make sure you spend the time on this channel going through each and every video because there's so many different topics here. We cover a bit of everything. And trust me, every time you think you've seen one video, there's always going to be something else that pops up that will have exactly the right answers that you're looking for. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.